Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, welcome. But if you are already from the family, thanks again for staying tuned for a new video this week. And I'm gonna let you know that this is gonna be a pretty large thrift store haul. So grab your cup of coffee, grab your snacks, and let's jump right into it. Right, Jalisa? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's better. This week we went to several different thrift stores because we are getting ready for the Thanksgiving season. And there's a couple things that I'm scoping out for my table setting because I'm going to be hosting Thanksgiving in my home along with my sister-in-law. We went to get a couple things and scope out what they had. I went to Pennywise, which is my usual. I went to, where did I go? Went to several garage sales. I also went to the Goodwill and Goodwill Bims. It's gonna be a collective haul of all of those places that I've been to. Jumping right into what I found in the garage sales. I really wasn't planning on going to garage sales, but I stopped at a few and ended up seeing a couple things that I really liked and enjoyed, which was perfect for the holiday season, right, Jalisa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The first thing I saw is one of the garage sales, this vintage candlestick holder. I have placed a used candlestick in the way that it looks, and it's perfect for the holiday season to display and give it that silent light type of look. Probably paid under 50 cents for this, if I am remembering correctly. I ended up finding these spoons and when I kept looking a little closer, these spoons, I had never really noticed these spoons before. They have those little ridges right here and I was unaware of what they were used for. And the homeowner mentioned to me that these are used for like cantaloupes and watermelon to dig in and scoop out the watermelon or the cantaloupe. So I learned something new. They are stainless steel and they have the wooden handle base. These are made in Japan, and I've seen these, these being sold on eBay for a decent penny. Not too expensive, but they go pretty well because they are stainless steel. I like the way that these look, especially I'm going to be inserting a clip right here of how I use these little spoons to decorate, and I think they bring a, a special little touch to it, and I love the fact that they're stainless steel and they have that wooden base on the bottom. At the same garage sale, she did have the milk glass salt and pepper shakers. They are dinged up from the wear up in the top of the lids. I'm going to be posting these to resell through the Facebook marketplace where I usually sell most of my items. I also went to Goodwill and I do not have it here, but I will also include a clip of it right there. I purchased this solid wood small shelf. Now I was considering repainting it but for some reason, for some reason I ended up just loving the natural wood color to it. I left it the same way and I placed it in my kitchen area near my counter space and I absolutely love it. And I just added some little vintage touches with Christmas items in there. And I, I like the way that it looks. But if later on I decide to paint it and give it a new look, then I'm always open to that. That was a little bit more pricier, but it is a good solid wood and I appreciate that. So that's $7 are another salt and pepper shakers these are vintage tin salt and pepper shakers elton kirby's pepper and the provincial defense salt tin these are vintage and perfect for the christmas season so i have this displayed in my little shelf unit that you just saw and it flows perfectly with that's the red that's green. yep so it falls perfect with the holiday decor it's two quarters yeah i ended up getting these for 2.99 to be sharing the Goodwill bins since we just finished with the Goodwill haul stuff. And I ended up finding a couple vintage items at the Goodwill bins this time around. Didn't find too much, but what I did find I was appreciative of and I love it. One of the things that I ended up finding was a whole bunch of vintage inspired stamps. I ended up getting about seven different stamps. I will show you. This is the first one that I ended up, this is one of them here. Here, birdie, and a tree. And the other one. And a bird. That's another one right there. A bird cage and a tree. That one's in, that one's in a bird cage. Another yeah. little bird or dove. Some of the little greenery stamp. Last one, it looks like a topiary little tree with a tin bottom, a little bit better from the stamping. 
And it looks like out of all of them, this one was the only one that had been used. Daddy <laughs> Because the other ones are all brand new, had never been used. I don't want to be a pretty dog here. Okay. Cute bunny rabbit. Needed to pop in here. It is clearly another day. But when I was editing the video, some of the audio was off. I don't know what it is, but I clearly do not feel comfortable in uploading that portion of the video up. So I just decided to sit down real quick with you and show you that other portion just because there's a lot of pretty good things that I found, you know, stuff like at the bins and Pennywise and things like that in other stores that I want to make sure that I upload, especially now with the holidays being here to give you hopefully inspiration guidance as to how I'm going to decorate them. Back to Goodwill on 75% off day, I did end up finding this Easter items. One of them was this little cutie right here. It is for the votive candles. This was 75% off, so I believe I paid maybe under 50 cents or so for it. And I love the fact that it has the little holes in the little carrot top, just because I think that once you have a like, little battery operated a candle inside in the evening time what I like to do is I like to place them somewhere like in my kitchen or where it's easy access and turn them actually turn them on in the evening time because they look so pretty and it just creates that ambiance so I really love that portion so this is going to be put away for the springtime being said I believe my daughter was popping in to show a little bit but I ended up finding these cute little adorable cookie cutters. I got these at the Goodwill bins. So I got the little bunny rabbit and the tulip right here. Nicole North Gardens, I'll link her channel up top. She usually uses this for decor and I think I'm going to use them for decor. She gave me that inspiration, so thank you, Nicole. I follow her on Instagram and I also follow her YouTube channel here as well. And if you haven't followed her, make sure you do. But I'm going to save these and put these up for decor in the springtime. I end up finding a few vintage items as well and if I still have some of the photos of some of the tablescapes I will include it in clip or around here or something like that. I ended up finding was a lot of vintage inspired wood kitchen utensils and one of them a few of them were the basic just wooden spoons utensils this also ended up finding the rolling pin isn't this super adorable I love this and what I ended up doing is when I get wooden spoons like this I just get the biggest pot that I have I'll boil some water and in the water I will include a little bit of Dawn and baking soda so that it will boil in there for a little bit once it's done I will grab some baking soda and vinegar and do the same thing and just warm open water and rinse them and wash them again and set them out to dry. I used mine in my tablescape for this past Thanksgiving that we just had recently. I thought it was something different. And the finding in the bins was this music book. It is an old music book. A few weeks ago, if you remember in my stories, I ended up finding like music sheets that were like from the 1920s or 1930s and they were like 50 cents, 75 cents at that time. And I couldn't pass that this one up and I love the fact that the, the page does look worn. And so this music book looks actually is a textbook from Luther Burbank Junior High School in Los Angeles, California, which is kind of makes me wonder and think, you know, how people would grab these books and either travel with them or move from one state to another, which is probably why and how it landed here in Texas. And I really appreciate that. It is from 1933. She ate the worn pages of it. And I believe even now for Christmas season, just leaving this open, people can appreciate those musical notes. So I love that. And the fact that it is this kind of pewter grayish tone, silver color, I love that. I had gone to Pennywise as well and I ended up finding a couple pieces for my tablescapes. I really don't shop. Very seldom do I go to box stores because if I need something, I will go to my thrift stores or my resale shops to buy them there. And I ended up finding these adorable little jars. I have since added these cute pieces of twine if you see them right there just to kind of give them that little rustic look and they look very beautiful i actually added rosemary to them and they looked absolutely adorable and it was actually a, a talking piece 
at my tables. They were so curious that to know that I had added a couple little sprigs of rosemary here to the tablescape. And some of them even asked if they can take those rosemary to propagate. I thought that was pretty neat. So these were about 25 cents. Other of the items were these little cups right here. And they don't look like, to me, They, I guess you could drink out of them if you want to, but I actually use these as votive candles to kind of give certain dimensions. And I just added tea light candles on these. These were also 25 cents that I ended up purchasing three of them at Pennywise. The item that was an actual hit as well in my Thanksgiving dinner was my coffee. Instead of brewing just regular coffee on the drip coffee maker or in my Keurig. What I did was I ended up using a French press that I found at Pennywise. We're excited because I ended up getting this for $2.50 on their Thrifting Thursday, which is on their purple bag. And I ended up finding this adorable French press. This is the Bodum brand. However, they sell this at Starbucks. So this is the actual Starbucks French press from Bodum. Imagine how expensive Starbucks might have sold this type of French press, but I ended up getting it for $2.50 and this was a hit. Now, when I make French press coffee, I don't like to use the fine ground coffee. I do like to ground the coffee beans coarse and I let it sit in the bottom. Once the water has boiled over, I let it sit between four to five minutes. I stir it up. I put the lid on and I still leave it there for a few more minutes and then I'll bring the lid completely down so the filter can bring down all of the grain. We ended up using this type of coffee in the French press and once I was done brewing the coffee in the French press, I ended up using this to keep my coffee warm and it was also a Pennywise find. Now this was their regular price, which is $4, but I ended up getting it because it was in awesome condition and it was a Mikasa brand and it was this here, coffee thermos. I love this. Let me tell you, this is one of the best things that I have fallen in love to use. Now, first of all, when I saw this, it immediately reminded me of my husband's grandmother because she is one to brew her coffee and the coffee once she's done brewing her coffee, she has her very own thermos that she's had for I don't know how long, and she will keep her coffee warm throughout the day. I saw this, I was like, this will be a great idea. More that it had the festive look of the thermos on all sides, and it was this looks like it was never really used. The sticker is still brand new at the bottom. What I did as soon as coming home was that you can actually remove all of the parts. I washed it really well and we use this to keep our coffee warm for Thanksgiving dinner and it worked amazing. It kept the coffee super hot and super warm for everybody to use. I only paid $4 for this beauty right here. I know I'm kind of like all over the place so I'm gonna jump into what I also found in the bins. Did not leave this behind. This I might put it up for resale and it's this adorable baby blanket. I don't know too much about it yet. I have to do some research, but it is in beautiful condition. The tags do look like they are, they, it is from the brand Mine Alone and post it up for resale, but it is simply adorable. It has a soft baby pink and then the cute adorable bears are in blue, yellow, and pink. Usually when I'm out and about in the Bates house or the formal coupon to provide Paloma, usually we always end up finding each other or crashing into each other at the stores when we're shopping. And so sometimes if I find something, I might kind of hold it off for her or show her and vice versa, she will go ahead and me and mine, which is very sweet of her. And so she had gone to the bins one time here and she ended up finding this adorable piece and she had posted this on her page in one of her hauls and I just needed to show you guys so that you guys can appreciate this gorgeousness right here. Now this here is El Palque de las Palomas, Hyo photo frame and it is stamped San Juan. So it is from San Juan, Puerto Rico. We do have property in Puerto Rico and I am so thankful and blessed that she even considered saving and snatching and saving this beauty from being the landfills because this is going to be going to Puerto Rico when I go back again in a few more months. It is stamped that it is patented. However, the original purchase price on this item was listed for two bucks at the Goodwill. So I'm going to be going to my Caribbean home in a couple months. So I can't wait to put this up there. This is going to look super adorable and I just love the detail in it. Thank you, Paloma.
the last two things that I am going to be showing you, I will insert a photograph here. If you saw my Instagram stories, you, you would have known that I have had a thing. Sometimes you, you buy things on either garage sales, thrift stores, and you have to see behind the crud and you have to look at the potential that it might have. And I ended up finding these chairs. If you saw my Instagram, you know the story. These chairs had so much crud in them, but I saw behind the crud and I saw the potential and the beauty in them. First of all, these chairs are super old and they have the hardware on the bottom pieces and they are heavy, solid heavy. So it took me about two days to clean these chairs. I wish I would have had a before snapshot of them. I don't think I, I ended up getting these chairs. I ended up getting two of the chairs because that's all they had and that's all actually I needed. Solid wood is super heavy, so he left them at $8 each. I was okay with because they're old. And I'm thinking, if these chairs are this old and they're this solid, they're gonna last me maybe another 15 to 20 more years. It's been added his magic touch to them and gave them a new makeover and I love them. And the color stain that we used was Jacko Bean, which matched perfectly with my table because again, my table is custom made. So it matched perfectly with the table and I love them. Jalisa has joined us in this portion of the hall. She just woke up from her nap and she wanted to share what she got at Goodwill. Right? Hey, who? Yeah, okay. here. So what did you find? Dinosaurs. She found this giant bag of dinosaurs. The day that we went, oops, <laughs> day that we went, she was not having a good day. So she just wanted to grab her stuff and go. So I'll take what I can get. This giant bag of dinosaurs she wants to do an unbagging. So she ended up getting a couple of the dinosaurs here. With what? a strong tail. With a strong tail, okay. And what else do you have there? Triceratops. A triceratops. And a horn. With the horns. So it's another type of dinosaur. Look at her, she's so good at it because she notices that they have the horns, right? It's so cute. Yeah. The whole bunch of lizards, more lizards, more oh. dinosaurs, frogs. No, that's a day right there. Oh, that's a lizard? I will share with you where this little creative child of mine has been putting her little frogs at in my plants. Oh. More and more dinosaurs. What can you say? More dinosaurs. So that is all that we got thrifting this week, shopping along several different stores from Goodwill to the Goodwill bins to Pennywise and other little stores like that. So if you enjoy this type of content, make sure that you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.